Hey guys, Mr. Happy here, and today I want to do a video about bringing your UI from one character over to another character. Now keep in mind, I don't do this on purpose, I swear, but this tutorial is only for PC players. I don't know if you can do it on the PS3. So as you can see, I've created a brand new character here. I have none of my UI settings that I want. Things are sizes that I don't want. They're places that I don't want. I only have one ability on my action bar, obviously, because I'm only level one. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to take the UI from my other character, which you can see right here, and put it on this character. So it's actually really simple. And all you need to do is go to your documents folder. It'll be under my documents. As you can see, I have the path at the top, my documents, my games, Final Fantasy 14 of Realm Reborn, and then you will come to these folders. So once you're at these folders, each one of these folders represents a character. Now this is the hard part, it's determining which character is which. So I already know inherently that the very top one is my actual character, the character that you see in most of my videos. But this folder is the one that I just created, and I know that because there's no log folder at the top, and it was just created uh, not too long ago, as you can see. The times that they were created are very, very recent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these. So as you can see, I have all these. I'm going to click open the log so you can see this is a log of all of the UI changes that I've made. So these I'm bringing over with me. Everything I've ever done is basically getting carried over with me to this other character. So I am just going to highlight all these. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different ones. There's keybinds, gear sets, controls, add-ons. Add-ons is interesting because we don't have any add-ons yet. So I can only imagine that that will handle add-ons when we get them. Macros as well, log filters, everything that you could possibly want. Now right now I'm pasting it over and bam, all of everything should be here right now. And now this is the new character. So I have not touched this character. I logged out and now I'm here. So everything transferred over. And now I'm going to log back into my character in just a few minutes. But keep in mind when you do this, be very careful. Make sure you know which character is which. Otherwise, that you can completely wipe your UI if you do it backwards. If you take the low-level character and bring it over to your old character, you can completely wipe out all of your progress. So as you can see here, I'm going to log into Happy Test. Happy Test was a new character I created just for this. Thank goodness it's really early in the morning where I live and not many people are playing so I could actually get past the character creation restrictions. Now, it's going to load. Let's see if it worked. Let's see if my UI is completely fixed. And would you look at that? Abilities I don't even have are all placed on my action bar because I'm on Archer and I've already done, well, not really. This is Archer. This isn't Bard, so those aren't my usual binds. But as you can see, my macros, my UI, everything carried over. So worked perfectly. Make sure you do this very, very carefully when you do it, not to overwrite the wrong log folders and everything. Also, if you're thinking of reformatting your computer or if you're going to install it on a new computer, this is a way to transfer your UI until they allow us to save it server-side. This is currently the only way I know how to do it. Again, sorry PlayStation 3 players, I don't know if there's any sort of remedy for that for you. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully I enjoyed this really short video, probably, probably my shortest video ever. If you did, please like, favorite, subscribe, and share for more Final Fantasy XIV information. Also, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. You can ask me questions on those platforms. I love answering them. doesn't matter what they are. I'll usually be able to get back to you. It's much harder for me to get back to YouTube messages, but I've been trying to do a little bit better of a job at it, so you can message me there too. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I, I know I do a little slash goodbye thing right here at the end, so I'm just going to keep talking because that's you know the only thing I'm good at. Uh, any day now. Oh, there we go. Slash goodbye. Uh, wave. Goodbye. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.